So, uh, my name is uh, Gerasimus, the official name, uh, but uh, people usually call me Makis. This only makes sense in Greek. I'm sorry, I can explain to you. Um, <laughs> I'm your, uh, one of your organizers today and responsible for a lot of the spam you have received in the past months about this workshop. I'm also sorry about that, but it's necessary to uh, make the workshop visible to people like you. I uh, work a lot with uh, uh, the Precise ecosystem and try to make everything work together and work easily for you and also to test it together. I contribute a lot to the uh, documentation to the open form adapter and uh, lately I try to also write my my PhD this is getting challenging I work a lot with uh, open form and I'm uh, yeah very involved and very enthusiastic about teaching where I teach C++ and CFD and my time is up um, I would now not I would now like uh, Daniel to to come down and you get uh, this microphone. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm Daniel. I work at the uh, Alfred Wegener Institute, uh, uh, which is a polar and um, marine research institute in uh, Bremerhaven. I'm currently working on my PhD. I'm mostly uh, into um, high performance computing or scientific computing. Specifically, I uh, work on uh, tracking uh, fronts of uh, glaciers. I won't go into details because I'm doing a talk uh, this afternoon on this with more details. Um, previously, I've been a software engineer um, for quite a few years now, um, so I'm very interested in all software engineering related topics, many programming languages, um, tooling, uh, yeah, especially uh, I'm working a lot on software quality, so testing reviews, things like that. Um, yeah, that, that's it. And uh, now Prasad. Thanks. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Prasad. Uh, I'm a PhD student in University of Luxembourg. Um, I've done my mechanical engineering from Pune, India, and I've done my computational mechanics uh, masters from Universidad Politecnica de Catalunya in Barcelona and second year in Eagles in Tel de Nantes. I have one of my professors in the audience today, Alban Leroy. Um, my research focus for my PhD is to establish uh, a multiphysics coupling environment, which I do with Precise, um, and then uh, basically have momentum coupling and heat and mass transfer coupling. And my project is the erosion inside abrasive water jet cutting nozzle. And I'm also collaborating on other projects like the biomass furnace and uh, predicting friction for gravel and ice uh, landslides uh, as well. And uh, there are more projects in the team and uh, I maintain the precise side of the things in my team. And that's it, yeah, thank you. Hello, my name is David Barreiro. I am a PhD student from University of A Coruña in Spain and collaborative PhD at the Bon Carmen Institute. And as I told you, I, I'm doing the PhD. In the first stage of the PhD, I was doing high fidelity simulations, like the ones on the left. But uh, these are very expensive, so I was trying to use a cheaper alternative, and that, that's why I, uh, Precise comes to my research because I want to couple a single phase solver with, an, with a simplified model for a liquid film instead of using the typical two-phase uh, simulations. So my research interests are um, CFD, more in particular open foam, and uh, in general multi-phase flows, uh, also um, for the liquid film models, uh, simplified models for liquid films. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Kanishk. Uh, I'm a master's student of computational science and engineering at TUM here. Uh, I'm, current, I'm doing a uh, student assistantship in Precise. So I'm currently adding a feature. Um, right now, the data, the coupling data that we have in Precise is always associated with a mesh. 
and in some use cases uh, we need to exchange data that's not associated with any mesh like you could have a uh, coordinate system uh, data you could have for example density in incompressible flow which needs to be exchanged so i'm currently adding that feature and other than that uh, i'm i've worked on some hyperbolic equations dealing with uh, methods to deal with discontinuities for a seminar I've worked on a project on parallelizing uh, analog circuit simulator, and I did uh, some uh, numerical investigation of uh, fluid flow and heat transfer in uh, wavy microchannels, which was a conjugate heat transfer simulation in ANSYS Fluent. And yeah, no discernible direction so far, but let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, so m my name is Benjamin. I'm uh, from the University of Stuttgart. I work in the Thermodynamic Institute with uh, Professor Groß, my supervisor. I'm a PhD student. Um, we work with classical fu density functional theory. So we basically uh, work at the molecular scale and we look at um, phenomena like contact angles or salvation free energies. So it's a little bit far away from um, fluid dynamics, but that's the reason why I'm here. We also work on a hydrodynamic version of our density functional theory, so we want to couple our molecular model with uh, fluid dynamics. And basically for those, for, for this model, I would, I'm interested in using maybe precise because we want to couple our own thermodynamic code, which is written in Rust, to a um, software Dumux. Many, some of you know it. And um, yeah, that's why I'm interested in precise. Hi everybody, my name is Claudio Caccia. I'm a PhD student at Polytechnic of Milan. Uh, in my group we work on uh, basically aerospace structures and uh, rotorcraft dynamics. My main topics of research are um, fluid structure interaction and multibody dynamics. In fact, I've uh, developed a cup, an adapter for uh, the, the software MBDyne. I'm also uh, in my past and my present uh, activities, I'm also a uh, research engineer in, uh, in a company working on uh, robotics, and in the past uh, I work on uh, hydraulics. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yes, hi. Uh, I'm Chris Chartrand. I work at Sandia National Labs in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, our main customer is the U.S. Department of Energy. Uh, and I work on a lot of marine hydrokinetic energy devices which convert ocean wave kinetic energy into usable electricity. Um, and so I run a lot of CFD simulations. Uh, and right now they're all one-way coupled with the fluid dynamics feeding uh, a rigid body solver. Uh, and I'm very interested in doing some... Uh, two-way coupling so I can do some structural analysis on these devices. And that's why I'm interested in, in using Precise. from Istanbul Technical University. Uh, I am a PhD student also uh, at the Department of Aeronautical and Astronautical Engineering. Uh, my uh, PhD thesis is about uh, aeroelastic panel filter at supersonic uh, flow region. Uh, I have studied uh, curved fin uh, aeroelastic instability uh, Reparant fin, these are. Uh, my aim uh, is uh, verify the study also by using precise. That's all. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Ishan Desai. 
I'm a pre-size developer, as many of you already know. I'm also a PhD student at the University of Stuttgart, uh, supervised by Benjamin. And my research focuses on developing adaptive and flexible macro-micro coupling software. I will talk about this later today. Um, in general, you can talk to me about multi-scale models, homogenized models, adaptivity and load balancing in the context of coupled simulations. I also maintain several packages in the precise project, the Macro Manager, Python bindings, Julia bindings, Phoenix adapter, and such. So if you want to work with these packages or around these packages, yeah, please, please talk to me over this workshop. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, I'm a um, master's student uh, working for Precise, and I'm from the University of Stuttgart studying simulation technology, and I'm uh, yeah, managing the, uh, the Julia bindings and helping with the micromanager with Ishan. Um, yeah, otherwise, uh, even though I'm studying simulation technology, I have little, uh, surprisingly little to do with simulations, actually. Uh, but yeah, um, that's basically it. <laughs> So, give me a moment because no, uh, I think it's good to be a bit adaptive. keeps keeps the brain fresh. <laughs> <laughs> there, there were last minute updates. Uh, Frankly, the great and my job something. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Yannick Fischler from Darmstadt. Uh, I'm currently working on a precise adapter for the ice sheet and sea level system modeling model. Um, uh, well, this is related to ice sheet modeling and I've done a performance analysis uh, and some optimizations of the ice sheet model as well before. And we developed a new subglacial hydrology model which we try to couple now. And in general, well, I am a computer scientist working on C, C++, parallel computing and high performance computing. And in our group we do a lot of um, Clang tools for refactoring or um, software analysis. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, hello everybody. My name is uh, Steffen Gerhäuser. I'm a PhD student at uh, University of Stuttgart and Simtech. And uh, our application is a multi-scale um, model of the human liver. And in that context, we work with um, or with Precise, we work with uh, FA Bio Adapter and with uh, the Micro Manager from Ishan. And yeah, so in the future, we want to tackle some uh, simulation with involved uh, macro, uh, macro micro coupling with the tissue scale and the micro simulations for the cell scale, so to say, in the human liver. And for that, we couple the finite element program FA Bio with a, a system biology-based solver for the cell scale. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Karma. I'm a PhD student at the University of Stuttgart. Uh, my supervisor is Miriam Schulter there. And I work with uh, muscle simulations. I will talk more about it in my talk later today. And now people are asking me if I'm a biologist. I'm not. I studied physics at the University uh, Universidad Politecnica de Catalunya in Barcelona. Um, then I started to get interested with CFD, and that motivated me to come to Germany. And I did the master in computational science engineering here too, with other people have done. Uh, so that's how I got to know about precise. And then I was working a bit with FSI. That was the topic of my master thesis. Uh, but now I'm doing the muscle simulation. Thanks. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Leonardo. I work at the University of Wageningen. I have a background in aerospace and aerodynamics. Uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, unusual stuff. We study insect flight and uh, Sometimes we investigate uh, how mosquitoes evade uh, swatting. And also we investigate some uh, fish uh, 
effects of fish uh, movements in the water. But now we're interested in using Precise to investigate how uh, to create a model, a muscle model, to see how the fish, uh, if we impose uh, bending moments on the fish model, or muscle model, if we can generate the same kinematics as uh, for the fish. And uh, yeah, I'm interested in, uh, <coughs> in using FEBio or in an open form. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, my name is Angelika Humbert. I'm from the Alfred Wegener Institute. I'm leading the group on ice sheet modeling and satellite remote sensing of ice sheets. We work with a variety of codes. We develop models, we use models, we adapt models. And our particular interest in Precise is to couple a large-scale ice sheet model to a new subglacial hydrology model. And in general, we first develop process models that hopefully at a later stage all become part of a bigger ice sheet model. And kind of the variety goes from densification models like sintering for fern or fracture mechanical models, as well as viscoelastic deformation of ice. So, apologies. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me here. I'm Ahmad al-Sheikh. I'm filling in for my postdoc, uh, Musaib, who couldn't be here. Um, I'm a professor at Harriet Watt in Edinburgh in Scotland, and I pass through many universities, from university in Egypt, where I'm doing uh, earthquake, like resist building stuff. McMaster University, I did finite element analysis and mesh adaptivity and error estimators. Imperial College, I was doing ocean circulation models. UT Austin, I was doing inverse modeling. Harry Watt, we did some of the machine learning stuff. Uh, I'm a runner as of COVID, and I discovered uh, Precise during COVID. We use Precise in unusual application where we sense or read uh, simulation observation, and we change the boundary conditions. So we don't do coupling, we do fluid control. I will be talking about this uh, tomorrow. Uh, I learned about Precise from the paper with coupling with Phoenix, and it seems to me easy to do it with Python, so I hijacked the system. So, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Chaitanya Kandekar, and I'm also from India. Uh, I'm a basically a mechanical engineer, and after that, I did my master's in Leibniz for computational mechanics. And for the moment, I'm doing PhD at uh, HSU Hamburg, and my research topics are thermohydromechanically induced fracture for concrete on fire. So the first uh, top picture, concrete spalling, that is what I have to achieve in the next two years. <laughs> And the uh, next one is electrochemical mechanically induced fracture stress corrosion cracking. The second picture that I already uh, simulated by using Precise last year. And my key interests are phase field modeling and stress corrosion cracking, fracture mechanics, and multiphysics couplings. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mattis, and I, my re I'm a PhD student at the University of Stuttgart with SimTech and the uh, Department of Hydraulic Modeling. Uh, my research concerns, uh, concerns the modeling of fluid flow, two-phase flow at the pore scale in porous media. And um, I use a phase field modeling approach and uh, upscaling through periodic homogenization to arrive at a two-scale model where we use uh, micro-scale cell problems, such as the one in the bottom right, um, to then uh, to compute fluid flow through simplified pore geometries, and use that then to compute effective quantities, for, such as permeability for the macro-scale simulations. And for this, I want to use uh, the micro-macro coupling and the micromanager of Ishan in Precise uh, to couple these models together. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Niklas, and I'm a PhD student at Lund University, and I'm working in the field of partition solvers for coupled problems. More specifically, I'm interested in continuing developing waveform iterations that Benjamin Wodenby has also worked on, and I'm all interested to extend them to time adaptivity. Yeah. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Philip Gretz, and currently I'm a student here at TUM. I'm studying computational science and engineering in my master's. And uh, yeah, in the next semester over the summer, I want to write my master's thesis in cooperation with the company Knorr Bremse in Budapest. And the thesis will probably be about uh, a couple of simulation with thermal and electronical and chemical properties. And yeah, in the first weeks of, of my um, thesis, we want to um, yeah, investigate whether you, we use um, commercial software or precise. And that's why I'm here. Very grateful for the opportunity. Thanks. And yeah, that's it. Thanks. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I have an, uh, my name is Niklas Kurz. I have an engineering background. I studied aviation in, uh, in Graz, but it's already uh, eight years ago. I worked for the last eight years for a company who develops uh, paragliders and uh, parachutes, but also was responsible for production for this company. Um, after developing a couple of paragliders parachutes, I decided to quit the company and currently doing a gap year. And uh, yeah, decided to study a bit again. And uh, yeah, my goal is to understand fluid structure interaction of membrane structures, so couple open forms somehow with a structure solver. So I found a structure solver online, failed uh, by coupling it via precise. So uh, I came here and hope that I will learn a lot to be able to do the simulation finally. Thank you for being able to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my name is uh, Albon Royer. I'm assistant professor at uh, Ecole Centrale in, uh, at Nantes in France. Um, I'm working in mainly in CFD, numerical methods, and in particular in CFD. Uh, currently, my the, the application is uh, mainly dedicated in naval hydrodynamics. Uh, I um, supervise a, a PhD student uh, for uh, FSI in with in Sally boat with foils, but also uh, spore engineering. Uh, we develop a high fidelity simulator in, in rowing, and also uh, in ocean, and especially we, we start a PhD student, uh, we start a PhD student with, uh, in collaboration with uh, uh, IPGP uh, in Paris uh, to, to model uh, iceberg capsizing, so I, I, uh, Happy to see that other people are working with ice here, so we can discuss later. And uh, regarding Precise, I'm, I'm, I'm currently I'm not I'm not yet a user in Precise, but I am interested in uh, to couple 3D C CSM CFD with adaptive uh, mesh refine adaptive mesh refinement. So there's a, an error. Uh, so uh, maybe I have to discuss with uh, Frederick uh, during this. Uh, workshop to, to have more detail about that. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Daniel Lowe, uh, originally from the University of Stellenbosch in South Africa, but now I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Luxembourg in the Luxdem Research Group with Prasad, who's been here for a while. Uh, I also work on coupled CFD DEM models. So we don't do the, I don't at least do the fluid structure analysis. And uh, my work is mainly based on scaling these, uh, our models for HPC systems. So currently we have, numer I'm working on a numerical model for biomass furnace and its combustion. And uh, I'm interested in learning a bit more about precise and maybe incorporating it into our project.
So, hi, I'm Boris Martin. I'm a former CSE student uh, here at, the, at TUM. Uh, I did my master thesis uh, on Precise. I also worked as a student developer and I maintained the Calculix adapter and I developed the linear cell interpolation that we talked about earlier. Uh, nowadays, I'm not using Precise anymore. I'm uh, doing a PhD in, at the University of Liège in Belgium, where I come from. And I'm working on inverse problems, uh, on acoustic inverse problems to, to find the elastic properties of the, of the bedrock. Hello everyone, um, I'm Luca Menez, I'm, curren I'm currently in PhD um, at uh, P Prime and Mine in France and I work on the development of immersed bonding methods for, uh, to study, uh, for example, the bubble collapse uh, near a wall. So we consider um, um, for the fluid um, uh, in-house uh, multiphase flow solver in Fortran uh, 90. And now uh, I want to couple uh, the fluid with the solid, so using the Phoenix uh, structure solver. And um, so um, that's why uh, I'm here today. And uh, because um, I discovered um, Precise with uh, Phoenix. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, my name is Miriam Schulte. You've heard it before. I'm a professor at the University of Stuttgart in computer science. My group is the group for simulation of large systems, so we are doing all kinds of simulations. But among them is a lot of simulations using Precise, so I have a very long history supervising thesis on Precise and on its predecessor even. So you can of course talk to me about Precise, but also, as you heard, if you're looking for a position as a PhD candidate, um, so I'm coming from the method side, I have a diploma in mathematics um, and a doctorate then in computer science and beyond high performance computing I'm also trying to develop skills in high performance climbing. I think I'm still better in high performance computing. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, sorry, no coupling. Uh, hi, I'm Manish. I'm studying computational science and engineering at home. And uh, I have a background in aerospace engineering. And the first picture on the left is from a launch campaign I was part of. Uh, and the second picture is uh, at the uh, Tokomak experiment in Kaohsiung, where, where I'm currently working as a student. Uh, I work on geometric methods for long-time plasma simulations, which is what I'm continuing my thesis towards. I've, I'm also currently working on a project where uh, we take a building plan and generate a thermal model which can control the heating in a building as part of the VGC honors project. And my goal was to just learn about Precise. And yeah, uh, I'm also looking forward to graduating at some point this year and then opportunities after that. So I would be interested in opportunities. So yes, thank you. <laughs> Uh, yes, so uh, Ma Marcus is uh, uh, my, my was my student and uh, will now start at our chair as a uh, PhD on molecular dynamics, uh, unfortunately not on precise. Um, could not be here today. Um, chances are slim that he will be here tomorrow. Um, let's see. And uh, yeah, he developed uh, some extensions on uh, the open form adapter and uh, studied some cases for fluid-fluid coupling. Um, hopefully we will have um, a replacement talk tomorrow. Hi everyone, my name is Nu. I, I also go by Jessica. I'm currently a postdoc at St. Anne National Labs um, from the United States. Um, by I have a background in mechanical and ocean engineering, and my I'm look at, my research um, covers a range of um, aspects of uh, marine system, including mo trying to modeling um, nonlinear properties, including a viscoelasticity and viscoplasticity for the in the application of synthetic ropes for the mooring systems of a floating offshore platform. I'm also looking at um, 
modeling the resource char the characterization resources for marine hydrokinetic um, hydrokinetic systems, and um, so my research also I'm also interested in developing um, anal both analytical model and numerical model um, in the application of FSI. FSI. And um, mostly my research, I'm, I'm using both uh, mesh um, and the meshless um, numerical model, including open form and dual physics. For this application in particular, I've been doing uh, one-way coupling so far, so I'm looking at, I'm very interested in uh, developing into a two-way couplings using um, precise, and thank you. Everyone, I'm uh, Hamza Ukiri. I'm a postdoc, currently postdoc at the University of Stuttgart. I'm working on a SFB project, which is a, a big project, 17 projects, uh, many PhD students and postdocs. And I'm currently working as a research software engineer and the research and data, uh, data and software engineer, trying to make software uh, compliant to the fair principles and the data too. So. Uh, I'm work, I'm, I will be working on Precise 2 because it, has, it is used in the SFB 1313 uh, projects. It has already been, there are some papers uh, developed, by, uh, written by Alexander Yast about the coupling of Precise within Dumox, Dumox and Dumox, and we are planning to uh, use Precise maybe for other software that we are developing at the University of Stuttgart like Espresso, Megamall, uh, FS3D, uh, and uh, develop even more DUMOX uh, adapters. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hi everyone, my name is Mitchell. Uh, I'm sent here by my supervisors on behalf of the team of Mercury DPM. Um, I have a background in mechanical engineering. Uh, well, more in, more in particular particle segregation. And now I'm doing a PhD where I try to simulate the tableting process of pharmaceutical powders into tablets. Um, in the end, we want to do this in a multi-resolved way, which is the top image you see, where we have this large size ratios between particles that we need to uh, have different methods for, um, because we have billions of particles in the system, so the simulation times gets way too big. Um, this is also why I'm interested in Precise, because I already coupled Mercury DPM to Umflip, which is a FEM-based fluid solver, um, but the simulation times are way too big, so we're trying to find new or alternative uh, fluid solvers, mainly through Precise. So if you know how to couple particles to fluids, uh, please talk to me. I could use some help. So hi, I'm Felix. I study civil engineering at the University of Stuttgart. I'm about to start my uh, master's thesis. And um, my master's thesis will be about uh, fluid structure interaction on membrane structures. So what you see there is uh, the example which uh, I will treat. It's um, the hanging cloth in the entrance area of the Guggenheim Museum in Abu Dhabi. And um, it's in the context of a research project from uh, the engineering office structure in Stuttgart. And um, yeah, I'm here in, at the workshop to, to see and to learn about precise, to, uh, to learn what configuration is uh, recommended, what is feasible, what is maybe challenging, and um, where might be application limits. And this is uh, what my thesis will be about. And uh, what I want to learn here at the workshop. Thank you. Thanks. So, hello, I'm Benjamin or Benny, and I'm yeah, working on this time interpolation topic. There, I often create these funny pictures. So, this is, uh, for example, when I checked whether our coupling algorithms here yeah, they conserve energy or not. So, my goal overall is to yeah, couple solvers and don't break the time stepping. Um, besides that, like I'm working with yeah, Python, I developed the Python bindings and also the Phoenix adapter. Um, yeah, Spark is more, more a nightmare and a trauma for me, but I, I think I survived. 
Um, and yeah, now I'm moving more and more inside the precess library to also develop the algorithms for time interpolation and waveform iteration. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Sergio Roget. I'm a mechanical engineer and also a PhD student at the University of La Coruña in Spain. Uh, in general, the main objective of my PhD uh, is uh, simulate uh, trolling fishing nets to improve their design and in specific the topic is uh, simulate the behavior and implement a fleet solid stru uh, structure interaction between a uh, code that we have and a simulation in open form. We uh, simulate the net uh, with a porous media because otherwise uh, we need a huge amount of resources. Um, if all if it all works, I will validate it. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you. Yeah, hi, my name is David. Um, I work in the precess team, and I started already quite early in 2018. Uh, in the course of a bachelor thesis to couple DL2 and open form. This was uh, at the University of Siegen, where I also did my bachelor studies in mechanical engineering. So I'm actually also not a computer scientist, but a mechanical engineer. So then I switched to uh, TUM and started as a HIVI, um, supervised by Marcus and Benjamin. And there I also developed uh, the adapter for DL2 and worked on the open form adapter. And in 2021, I then started my PhD in the group of Benjamin. Um, and I'm nowadays mainly working on data mapping methods in precise, but yeah, also kind of uh, maintaining DL2 and open form a bit uh, and yeah, what's left. And you can talk to me about uh, yeah, mesh particle coupling, what we've seen before, because this will also be uh, a topic throughout my PhD. Also about dynamic and high order mappings. So I also gave a talk last year already, already targeting these topics a bit and also about large scale data mappings, but I will also talk later about this uh, today. Hi, I'm Frederick. Uh, I'm a person of many hats. Uh, I like to call myself a core developer of Precise because I'm not only developing uh, inside Precise but also mostly inside the core library. So I've done many of these things. My main topic is uh, to introduce adaptive dynamic meshes, which is quite challenging in a system that is designed around static meshes. Um, yeah, and I'm uh, so what you see around is uh, what I basically do. I I do um, some maintainer for the spec package of Precise. I'm also uh, like the package owner of uh, the spec package for so inside XSDK. If you want to know anything about that, feel free to talk to me. Yeah, and I'm also contributing to a bunch of other things like uh, CMix, Buck itself, uh, Scribus Journal, and other things. Yeah. Okay, so that's me. Um, I'm kind of the, the elderly precise developer. Um, since uh, yeah, um, two years now, I'm a junior professor in Stuttgart. Uh, before that, I was many years here in Munich. Uh, I studied here, did my PhD here. I uh, was postdoc in Eindhoven for two years. Um, yeah, so uh, talk to me about everything concerning precise. Um, kind of my, my goal of the workshop is to talk to every one of you. <laughs> Uh, l let's see if I manage. Yeah, um, maybe something a goal for next year for this year. Um, kind of what we identified as the next big challenge is we want to bring some standardization to our adapters and our test cases. Um, so uh, this would also be a topic for the World Cafe um, uh, tomorrow. Um, so I'm very interested what what you think about this, uh, where you can bit shape where we are heading there. Hi, yes, I'm David. Uh, I am from the Bremen-based uh, space or satellite integrator company uh, OHP System. 
and I work in the propulsion department. And we are looking a lot at the sloshing of the propellant inside of our tanks. And we also are using um, diaphragm tanks, which are essentially tanks that contain a bladder or a rubber diaphragm. You can see my great drawing on the right side. Um, and essentially they are used to separate the gas from the liquid and also keep the liquid at the outlet port. And um, every project, everybody asks, so how is the sloshing in the diaphragm tanks? And every time we say, it's probably better or less sloshing than in a free surface tank, but we don't know, so that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, so far, I've been using solids for foam to couple the diaphragm and um, the liquid, but now I also maybe want to try either using precise to couple solids for foam to open foam, or maybe look into other solvers. I'm not sure about that yet. Yes, thanks. Yes, hi, I'm Peter. Um, I am recently started my PhD at the University of Bergen in the Paris Media Group. I'm working on coupling data-driven models and yeah, classical physical models. So in our case, uh, finite volume methods uh, in various uh, Paris media couple, or couple on various uh, couple problems in Paris media. Um, so far, I haven't really done any coupling, but like just replaced some parts of the models with uh, data-driven models. Yeah, and I don't really know um, yet whether precise will fit into that or into my research. But uh, yeah, I'm here to learn, and hopefully, it will become useful later on. Hello, I'm Alexander. I'm working on distributed large-scale microscopic traffic simulation. Microscopic means we model every aspect, like the mood of the driver, the tiredness, the aggressiveness, the level of the battery, all that stuff. At very large scales, so our goal is to simulate rush hour in a Chinese city, which works already. Um, and uh, recently, we started looking into co-simulation to couple our simulator with other domains basically, for instance, weather, network, 5G, something like that, and that's why I'm here to learn. Yeah, that's it. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Leonard. Um, I have studied renewable energy engineering at the University of Stuttgart, and I'm currently doing my master's thesis with Benjamin Nickelmann. Um, past topics of mine have been production methods for photovoltaic cells. Um, I've also worked on the simulation of wind turbines, especially offshore floating wind turbines, as you can see uh, on the slide. And currently, I'm again doing a thesis um, on a precise FMI coupling, which we'll talk about tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to get more into computation science, um, which has not been a great part of my studies, but I want to do more about it, um, and I'm also looking for something after my graduation, so if you have anything, feel free to talk to me. Thanks. We are not done yet. Um, maybe give me a moment. So I uh, was a bit unfair to, to Kyle. Uh, let me try to sneak in his uh, slide again. Uh, if you prefer, yes. That, that would be nice. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Kyle Davis. I'm a kind of, I guess now, since the last two weeks, a former PhD student of Miriam. Um, so for my work in Precise, I did a lot of work with the Quasar-Newton implementation regarding the kind of filtering and speeding up uh, this, uh, the algorithmic efficiency around that. I also did a lot of work with RBF data mapping, so if you have any questions around how Quasar-Newton works and or is implemented in Precise, come talk to me, or to do data mapping. Um, and uh, yeah, I also worked on that project with the city of Munich on optimizing their layout of groundwater heat pumps, and we used Precise to do coupling of different solvers for that, so you can also come and ask uh, about that. Yeah. 
Um, no slide, because no matter how clear your emails are, someone will always misunderstand them. And that's me this time, but it's fine. Um, I'm Helen Nakshidok. I have a physics background, and I'm now a master student of uh, simulation technology in Stuttgart. Uh, and I'm doing currently a research module with Ishan, uh, using two features of the of Precise. One is the Dumux adapter and one the micromanager, and I'm doing macro-micro coupling, uh, Dumux Dumux and Dumux Neutrals, basically uh, heat conduction problem in porous media. All right, uh, is there anyone else that uh, would like to say a few words? <laughs> 